about a topic that involves Call of Duty Black Ops 6 because this one I pulled from charlieintel.com. Now, Charlie Intel is a Twitter account that has thousands upon thousands of followers. They are the source when it comes to Call of Duty. They have been and they probably always will be. Well, they I went to their website and this story kind of stuck with me a bit. And I'm going to read it verbatim, folks. It says, Call of Duty players divided as Black Ops 6 arrives on Xbox Game Pass at launch. This was published two days ago. It was written by Nathan Warby. And this is what it has to say. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has been revealed, and we finally have an official confirmation that it will arrive on Xbox Game Pass at launch. However, the news has left the community divided as PlayStation owners feel that they are being shortchanged. Check this out. After months of rumors and speculation, Call of Duty 2024 has been announced as Black Ops 6, the latest entry in the series to be developed by Treyarch. Although the first real deep dive will come at the Xbox showcase on June 9th, a handful of details have already been confirmed, including the long-running rumor of the Gulf War setting. On May 28th, the game's live-action trailer also confirmed that Black Ops 6 will arrive day one on Xbox Game Pass, following Microsoft's well-documented takeover of Activision Blizzard this will mark the first time that a Call of Duty title has launched on the service, meaning subscribers on Xbox and PC won't need to pay the full $70 to hop in. And this is where it gets good see money. However, the announcement has proved to be a divisive one, with many Call of Duty players welcoming the news, obviously Xbox Game Pass subscribers, while others have criticized the decision. This is Check this out. Um, as you'd expect, Xbox players were excited to hear that Black Ops 6 will arrive as part of their Game Pass membership. Responding to Charlie Intel's post confirming the announcement, some even claim that they will give the game a try despite not usually playing the Call of Duty titles. But this is where the rubber hits the road because there are people in the PlayStation community that A are admitting that they feel shortchanged and B find that this game going into Xbox game pass C money is somehow unfair to PlayStation gamers. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe you should ask for better from your service. You're paying $18 and change a month for, for no day and day games through PlayStation plus. I don't know what to tell you. Or, you know, if you, if you're one of these, amazing PlayStation gamers that have this that are loaded that have these you know 35 and 4500 dollar rigs with 4090s and 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 the, all the bells and whistles well you can you can join game pass and well there you go but if you don't have that loot and I get it because a lot of people don't I certainly don't you can go get probably this fall a series s for 200 bucks and a card for give you 30 days worth of game pass for Call of Duty, and you're going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's talk about this for a second, see money, because I find it hilarious that people well, are actually upset over well, the game. Like, what, what is the deal? I mean, aren't 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 we all consumers at our core? How could you be mad at Xbox for putting this into a service and PlayStation not doing it? That's PlayStation's problem. Maybe you exactly. should buy an Xbox. Let's talk about it. So this is this is them being humbled by Xbox because they are being put in a position that they never thought they would be in, especially with 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 daddy PlayStation, right? Because they love their PlayStation, right? So Xbox owns Call of Duty. These people, they they're going to be forced into understanding that um, because this is something that is not you know, precedent, right? This has never happened before. It's never no. gone in to a subscription service. So, you know, they're used to living the high life with Call of Duty, right? Like, 
they have exclusive skins, exclusive modes, exclusive, you know, maps, whatever the hell. They get exclusive stuff all the time that typically is held away from Xbox for, you know, a good amount of time. Or most cases, maybe maybe lately they moved away from doing some of that stuff. But for a long time, they were definitely getting a whole bunch of stuff that was exclusive to them. Just like 360 got them many, many years ago, right? And now the benefit of Call of Duty is not going to the PlayStation fan base. It's going to the Xbox fan base because Xbox owns Call of Duty. Again, this is all easy stuff to understand, but they don't they don't comprehend this because they feel entitled. They think that it should be on their service, but PlayStation won't even put their own games on their service, let alone pay for what it's going to cost for Call of Duty to go into their service, right? Not to mention that, you know, we know that PlayStation is a, uh, Call of Duty is their lifeline, right? Like, we know how much they rely on the sales of Call of Duty, right? Um, So, yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, they're jealous that it's not on their service, They are being hypocritical because they've had exclusive stuff away from Xbox. We're not even getting exclusive stuff. We're just getting the game in Game Pass. You know what I'm saying? So you were. I mean, there might be some perks that we we're not sure. Like for instance, there might be. You know, like like again, this is speculation, but there could be some sort of perk. Not saying that it's something that's exclusive. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Remember that was a part. Right, it wouldn't be exclusive, but it might be a weapon skin. It might be a character yeah. skin, and you that might have you to on have PlayStation one of those services. To, yes, exactly. So, yes, um, but yeah, I mean, at at the end of the day, it's just you know, ponies being ponies, man. Like this is what it is. <laughs> this is just what it is. It's not unexpected. This is how they roll. They think the world revolves around them. Okay, and just because a few you know quote unquote xbox dudes revolve around them they get it confused it's not the world okay there's only a few people you can trick into thinking that what you're saying is worthwhile so the earth is not flat is what you're telling me sir the earth is not flat. i am devastated i am going to go write an email right now (laughs) that's right man we don't we don't follow these people we don't deal with their nonsense they live in their own little bubble stupidity and listen you can either avoid that bubble and just move on with your life and and make your own intelligent thoughts or you can sit there and and be bamboozled by these people to make you feel like what you're getting is not expected because xbox owns it this is why xbox did this right they were on top of everything else right let's be clear obviously we know mobile we know pc but game pass is the next thing that is so important to them right we know this Dude, they make stupid money every month from Game Pass. Like, understand, it's ridiculous. And this is just going to go ahead and keep that momentum going. I could, I, this, I believe, remember, Starfield dropped, and that was the biggest single day of yes. Game Pass signups ever. Yep. And I got to tell you, I would not be shocked if, this surpasses that day. Damn.